time to get started. Let me give you an idea of where we're headed. A bulk of what we will write and do in this playlist. In fact, everything almost that we'll do in this playlist has to do with OpenGL. Okay, I would hope it has something to do with OpenGL because that's the name of the playlist. Most of our OpenGL will be concerned with writing shader code. Not all of it, though. There's a there's a good portion of OpenGL that requires us to to do other things besides shaders, but most of the time we will be writing shader code, and again this is code that runs on the the graphics processing unit. Most of our shader code will be written in a language called GLSL, G GL shading language. Okay, and and OpenGL by by itself it's it's useless. You actually have to display OpenGL in a window of sorts. So we're going to use just a smidgen sliver, if you would, of QT. Okay, or other people call it cute. QT, cute. Ah, it's red. Uh, but you get the idea. Okay, we'll do a little bit of QT, some OpenGL, mostly shaders, that sort of thing. And our OpenGL we shall write in C++. I saw some of you talking about doing this in C sharp. I actually don't know how to do OpenGL in C sharp. You can I googled around a little bit. I saw some stuff that that might help you do OpenGL in C sharp. But C sharp, C++, as long as the functions are there and you can call them, then it should be okay. C++ is not a dead language. It seems like a difficult language, I know, but it's not and I have videos out on C++ if you want to ramp up on C++. You don't know need to know too much of the hardcore C++ stuff to do what we're going to do in this playlist. But that's the idea. This is where we're going. I have Visual Studio 2012 here in the background. I'm going to hit Control Shift N for a new project here. Visual C++ Win32 console application. I don't want to call it console application. I'm going to call it Me Graphics Scratch Pad. Oh no, you know what? I don't like that. How about Graphics Pad? We'll call it that. Location, sql backslash. We'll put it in graphics. I don't want to create a directory for a solution. I don't want to add it to source control. Click OK. I get this lovely wizard that I think is kind of useless, actually. Make sure you uncheck all of this. I want an empty project, console application. Start me with nothing. Okay, I want to start out from the bottom. Click Finish. Visual Studio works for a minute. Control Alt L. Bring up the Solution Explorer. Come on, right there. Okay, gonna get rid of all these helpful directories. Visual Studio thinks important. Gonna right click here, add new item, CPP file, compilation unit. I'm going to call it Mainer, and I bet you can't guess what I'm gonna put in here. Void main. I know a lot of you hardcore C++ people are like, oh, he did void. Yeah, oh well. Control shift B, let's build. Build succeeded. Control F5, run. Hey, look at that. Press any key to continue. I've just made a C++ console application. Ain't I so proud. Now, we need to add the QT stuff and get OpenGL going in here, so... Let me bring up my folder that we just created here. I'm not sure why my window is so short there. We have graphics pad here, and if you've been following along with the game engine programming playlist, you know I have this middleware directory where I put my extra helpful stuff. Now, the version of Qt I'm using is not the latest and greatest. You may think, oh, you always got to use the latest and greatest. No. No, Qt 5.1, I noticed it uses um, some angle library thing that makes DirectX look like OpenGL and kind of hides away the details. I don't want to do that. All right? I want to do OpenGL, and I actually probably don't know enough about Qt 5.1 to trust it quite yet. And, and again, Qt is not the goal here. We're just using a sliver of Qt. The bulk of this will be OpenGL. I'm actually using Qt 4.8 if you download the libraries for Visual Studio 2010. Believe me, this works in Visual Studio 2012 too. It's nothing to be stressed over. But if you download, if you do download this, and I do hope you download this, inside of there, when you unzip it, it turns out to be a few gigs or something like that. It's, it's hideous, and I, I don't like to add gigs and gigs of stuff just to add gigs and gigs and stuff. So I went digging around in there, and I found the absolute core libraries that I need. 
And I'm just going to copy and paste these in bulk into my middleware directory. Let's paste. You'll see lots of stuff. It'll grind for a minute. Look at me modifying the video so it doesn't take up all of your time. I have Qt here. I basically went and got the bin, the include, and the lib directory. Uh, if you don't understand the differences between all these directories, the first few videos on my game engine programming list, I tear through these and talk about why these are important. So if you need a refresher there, go to the game engine programming playlist and and uh, and see how I incorporate that. I'm going to do the same thing here and talk about it, but I'm not going to talk about it in uh, excruciating detail like I do in the game engine programming playlist. The include directory I pretty much took from open or from Qt. Uh, as is, okay, now these are our includes for our C++ project. I didn't modify that too much, but the lib directory, I pulled out the bare minimum that I need. In fact, I don't need Qt test, so I'm going to eliminate Qt test. We simply need Qt core, Qt GUI, and Qt open GL. I deleted the rest. It doesn't hurt to leave them in there, though, if you want to leave the rest in there. And then, of course, with the bin, same thing. Let me get rid of the test here. But I kept Qt Core, Qt GUI, and OpenGL, that sort of thing. Now you'll notice I also uh, pasted in here Glue. Right? This is the GL Extension Wrangler library. Let me, let, me, uh, let me Google that one for you. In fact, I'll bring Chrome into view here and say Glue. Right, and we get Glue, the OpenGL Extension Wrangler library. Uh, essentially, this little library makes a whole bunch of functions point to the right addresses in RAM. Yeah, that's kind of an easy way to put it. Let's just say you need this, you want this, download this, and when you download it, uh, you'll get a bin include in lib. And so that's where that came from. GLM. GLM is a 3D mathematics library. Uh, if you Google GLM, let me do that right now. GLM trunk. I guess it'd be better if I brought it into view here, but here's GLM, OpenGL Mathematics. We're going to need vectors, we're going to need matrices. In the Game Engine Programming Playlist, I actually write these on my own. If you want to learn about transformations and how they actually work and why they work mathematically, go watch the Game Engine Programming Playlist. If you don't care about that stuff, then uh, that's fine. You still need the mathematical library and we'll use it. And You'll see how I use that as we go along. So those are the three things that we need to do OpenGL, or to start out with to do OpenGL. We'll, we'll add more later. But anyway, let's see if we can get Qt going. Let's just get OpenGL window up open. I'm going to uh, right-click on Graphics Pad, click on Properties, even though you can't see it. General, Output Directory. Actually, this intermediate directory, I'm going to put TMP here, slash, so that all of our Visual Studio, when you build, it generates a whole bunch of files. I don't want it uh, polluting my configuration folder, so I'm going to put it one folder deep there in temp, uh, C, C++, general, additional include directories. Well, our project is in graphics pad, so I want it to include the directory going up one into middleware and then grab Qt. So here we go. I'm going to use this macro here, projector, I should probably <coughs> do it right, projector, in fact, I can't remember, is that how you do it? Is that how you do it? I can show you how we check. Click edit, macros, and sure enough, dollar sign, basically when I use these macros, I find projector. When I say projector, that's going to return C slash graphics slash graphics pad. I could hard code that in there, but I like to go off these macro variables here just to make my projects a little bit more portable. I want to go to the project directory, but I want to go up one directory. I want to go into middleware slash qt slash include. I believe that's right. Hit enter. Let's just double check. Okay, we're going to go here. Watch. We'll follow it. Project directory. This is the project directory. Go up one, that's what the double dots mean. Uh, middleware, okay, we'll go into middleware. Qt slash include, in fact, uh, it's not case sensitive, but I'm going to do a lowercase i. And I also need to add the rest of these, but we'll do those in a 
later video. For now, I just want to see if I can get a QT window up and going. Click Apply. And click OK. That should make it so when I say pound include with the angle bracket, I get QT. Good. Q application. And then I need to add my int arg c char star arg v array. These arguments are the ones that come in from the command line. And I'll say Q application. Me. Oop, me application. Oh, why not? Let's call it app arg c arg v okay app app the constructor to q application here requires arg c and arg v and then i'm going to say return return app dot exec let's build that should compile fine nope oh <laughs> i said void here let me change it to int okay build it should build fine but it won't link fine okay we need to Link to the library files. Okay, for QT, the library files are in lib. Here they are. I pointed them out to you. In fact, I think the only ones we need is QT core right now because all I have is a Q application, but we'll link to all those. So first of all, we have to tell Visual Studio where to find these library files. So right-click on Graphics Pad, Properties again, Linker, General, Additional library directories. Where can I find the library directory as well? Projector. Uh, go up one. Go into middleware. Go into Qt. And go into the lib folder. Okay, again, I'll just demonstrate that. Graphics pad. Uh, go up one. That's what the double dots mean. Go into middleware. Go into Qt. Go into lib. And that's where you'll find the lib files. Which lib files do we want to link to? I need to tell Visual Studio that as well. Can I put that at the bottom? No, because Visual Studio covered up. All right, I'm going to just put this at the side. I'll see it, but you won't be able to see it. But you'll see where I'm going with that. Linker, hey, when you're linking, I want you to look for some specific files. Here they are, a bunch of extra files. But the ones I'm looking for is Qt Core, Core D4. D is for debug.lib. I guess we should do release. Qt GUI d4.lib and Qt open gld4.lib. Notice I'm putting semicolons between all these. Those three files that I just typed in Qt GUI, there's supposed to be one D here. D, D, yep, looks good. That is the name of all these lib files I have here. Lib, lib, lib. Lib is short for library linkage again if you really want to know the details of linking and that sort of thing i think the first like five to ten videos in the game engine programming playlist i go over that in great detail click apply click ok i guess i could have just clicked ok Control shift b this should build fine and it should link fine build build succeeded but when i run it it'll pop up saying hey i actually need some code to execute buddy and i looked for this dll file and I couldn't find it. So the cheapest, dirtiest, easiest way to get around that for now, bring this into view, is I'm going to go to QT and say, hey, bin. Bin is short for binary. All right, this is the actual binary code that we execute. I'm going to grab all these. Control C to copy them. Oh, this is so dirty. I should make these visible somewhere using environment variables on my machine. But for now, eh, it's just a scratch pad. Why not? Go to my project directory again, graphics pad. Debug. Oh, look. I still put all the junk there. Oh, I put it in temp, too. Ah, I don't like this junk here. Uh, let, me, let me show you how to fix that. I'm going to... Right here... You know what? I'll show you how to fix it. I'm just going to delete it myself. I'm going to highlight all this. Delete. Send it to the recycle bin. I should do a shift delete there, not even send it to the recycle bin. But Here we go. Okay. Right-click. Paste. There's my DLL files. The reason why all that junk is there is I probably built before I set up that intermediate directory uh, earlier in this video. But anyway, there we go. Let me uh, control shift B, build, build succeeded. There we go. That's more like it. I have my executable here. When I run that, it'll look for these DLL files right in the same folder I'm executing from. So let's tell Visual Studio to start that execution for us. Control F5, black window pops up, no errors. I'm happy. Uh, Control-C to get out of this. And we're good. So QT's linked in. 
Uh, we're good to go from there. Next video, we're actually going to pop up an OpenGL window and move forward.